gotta go through this. Yeah. Call them to call them, right? Yeah. Or they tell you got to call them. Oh, yeah. What do you think of this project so far? Um, it's fun, actually. I'm <laughs> yeah. having a lot of fun with it. It is a big project. Yeah. Um, but I'm learning a lot. Yeah. And I'm having a lot of fun while I'm doing it. What's one thing that you've learned? Let's walk through. So, actually, almost everything. I've learned a lot about drywall. Um, now I'm going to be installing windows. <laughs> You're going to be installing windows. <laughs> so far, everything is is demoed. Really, we need Casey. We need Casey to show us. Where is he? We're installing these windows today. There he is. We're polishing all these floors, and we gotta be careful not to get paint on the floors in this phase, because so it's a little bit tricky. Casey's in there talking to uh, one of the subs. All right, man. Vlog. Brief the vlog on what's happened so oh, far. Oh, gosh. So, uh, as it's you can been, see. It's been a couple weeks since we've- It's been uh, a couple weeks. Yeah. As you can see, we got our finishing done. Now we're doing some prefab with the doors and windows that are coming in. Yeah. Um, so, uh, our windows have to get framed out up to the metal yeah so that we have a return right so we've got to still do that our doors we have eight inches this is kind of neat our red iron that we're framing this out with is eight inches so i need to have eight inches from the wall to here and i don't eight inches is about right here so now what we're gonna have to do <laughs> take these studs out yeah put that red iron in and then fur up against our red iron to make our sheetrock match perfect so little, little, details little details put the project together when you start seeing the finish product Absolutely. now we're painting today right absolutely we're gonna get it started painting now these details are fun because they're not massively like i don't have to remove an entire wall because something we didn't expect to see um so i like these details <laughs> i don't always like the surprises right but yes um the exterior has been completely prepped and ready so we're gonna start painting that we it's haven't actually there. cut in the doors because of the hurricane mm -hmm. which was yesterday we're safe yeah, we, was it kind of oh. breezed by us yeah, northeast, us. so we're good there. But um, exactly, you know, we're gonna so, do that when? Well, we can. We're gonna install the doors and everything before we ever cut it out. So once right. the roll-up doors come in, yeah, you can show us them. the framing, man. All right. Well, so it's really these guys are clever. Uh -huh. So that stuff is five eighths thick. Right? Five eighths meaning the thickness of the steel. Exactly. Now, if you look inside here. This is the red iron that they used. Yep. But it didn't match up to the existing purlins, so they'd have a flush face. So they took the old purlins and just wrapped them. Solid. So they would actually match. Wrapped them and <laughs> welded them. Love it. And we're going to, of course, remove this uh, yellow guard. Ariel's going to get the concrete saw, the mm -hmm. metal saw out. And I've already told her. I, was no, like, no. I can't wait to get you on that saw. Kidding, like, kidding, oh, kidding. It's as big as she is. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to grab a photo of Ariel for the email signature and a business card, stuff like that. And what else do we need to update them about this project? Anything like fun? HVAC is all roughed in. You can see they have the supplies. Well, everything's done with the HVAC. The only thing that's not is my mini split. Yeah. And again, that can't go in until the grid goes up, but the grid go can't go in until we're done painting, which right. is why we're actually painting even before we're ready, even while we're doing the floors at the same time. Because right. So we're going to cover the floors. Of course, the mm -hmm. grid is this acoustical, it's what holds the acoustical ceiling tiles and the light fixtures and everything else. And I can't get, it'll, if I can't get that grid in, basically my fire sprinklers, my uh, diffusers for the air, um, and my mini split, they can't go in. So, so it's like critical path, down. plus the insulation that we replace up below the roof deck. So above the grid, below the roof deck, um, we made happen before. And if you see, I don't know if you got the shots before and after, but they've already repaired all the insulation. Yeah. Solid. Looks good. I just ate, oh, and I got stuff to do. Tell her, I like, since I'm here so early, I always take my lunch around like 11. Yeah. But the last few weeks, everything's been so busy, and I've yeah. been going 100 miles. I've not got to, and it's been like 1, 2 o'clock every time we take really? lunch. I'm like, oh, gosh. <laughs> okay, so we're back at my house now, which, you know, running into a couple of problems. It's been interesting. I installed the flooring in this garage, which I'm going to show you now and got completely flooded out. As you can see, the uh, plaster crew is here. Introduce you to them in a second. Let me show you what we got going on downstairs. Hola, uh, hola, hola. Okay, so we hung drywall all up in here. Okay, we got a little office with the barn door coming together. 
So this is nice. A little switch right here. I had the flooring that I have in here all throughout here. And you guys, you might have remembered, I didn't film too much of it, but I did a French drain, which is this whole side of the house. What I can't get to is this side of the house because it's underneath the ground. And so there's groundwater. Like I said, we just got hit by Hurricane Dorian, so there's groundwater. I don't know about this haircut either. Through that side of the house. So we have to do some sort of drainage system. Water just coming in like crazy through this foundation wall. We got Ernesto doing an amazing job on the finishing. I decided to put a bathroom down here. So you can see it's a mess right now, but it's gonna come together, trust me. A toilet with a macerator, which is going to grind up the junk send it straight up to the sanitary, which is right above. So I got nice uh, three panel doors here. Okay, so look at that. Boom, water gone. All right, coming through. Los Santos. Compromiso. Uh -huh. Okay, and this is the fireplace crew. This is Shandell, and she's crushing it. You have your makeup on? No makeup, hi. <laughs> but that'll work. So good. We're, um, we're doing a VP suede. Yeah, we're plastering this fireplace with a product called VP suede. Hi, yeah. Jake. And it's an amazing product. It's made from lime. It also has, it creates a good bit of movement in the fireplace. You'll have to check it out once it's done. Yeah. And then when you're done done and you put the soapstone sealer on it, it looks and feels like suede. Yeah, so so far it's looking super, super sick. You can see that we framed this out a little bit more. So the beam was in the center. You have some thoughts on the beam too. I don't know if we're trying to do yeah, like a I really think we should. dark. Not not super dark. Maybe but some really light. Pretty modern. Um, there's a I have to look at the name of the color, but I think yeah. we should do a faux wood train up there because he's just got a boring drywall beam up there right now. Yeah. And in order to tie in the the contrasting colors of a modern home, adding a little bit of a wood touch would be amazing. Boom! I think it's gonna look so? awesome. So show us your skills. Do some nice flips. Oh man! <laughs> I would. But Maybe I'm not down a, here. On the ground. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. I'm so good at this, you guys. Wait, so it's all it's about the good flip, right? I'm pretty good at plastering too, and not just the tricks. Right. <laughs> yeah, the plaster looks really good. Circus show. The corners are the trickiest part, right? Yep, the corners are the trickiest parts, but they're so much fun. If you have OCD, it's a lot of fun. So basically, you gotta. Um, this is something. Mm -hmm. My interns are learning. It's all good. Um, How many interns do you have now? I have three. Nice. Isn't that amazing? I'm gonna need more. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, if all these cabinets hey, up. Shandell okay. Paints on Instagram or the Faux Collective. I know you're gonna change yeah, it. So Shandell Paints. It's the Faux Collective by Shandell With Paints. two L's. Shandell. C-H-A-N-D-E-L-L-E Paints, y'all. Dot, yeah, <laughs> dot com. And the Faux Collective dot com. But yeah, come intern for her in Jacksonville, Florida. Actually, Jacksonville also. Jacksonville, all of, all of, all of Northeast Florida, baby. Solid. Get up here. Chantel's dog, hey Ginger. Oh. All right, what else could I show them? As you guys have seen, and we were kind of in the middle of painting, so there's, there's coverings here. I ran a gas line for the stove. This is a nice pocket door going in here. See that? Nice little stop, so I can put a little handle there. It's gonna be awesome. This is the flooring in the rooms. I'm gonna move into this room temporarily, and then we're going to, uh, demo the master side of the house and where that little office was over there turn that into the master bathroom so it's gonna be super sick put a closet rod up here these are my doors i love these three panel doors just so perfect this is the bathroom which we're going to install the vanity toilet and uh man look at this flooring look how pretty that is it's like a slate flooring here's the shower a little sneak peek take this off ever so carefully Boom, look at this. I even put a light here for the shower niche because you never want to lose where your shampoo is in the shower. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching. See you in the next vlog. This is too much fun. <laughs> See you guys. P.S. I have really great videos coming up but as you can see in the middle of this project so i'm going to be doing how to send a proposal to a client how to do progress payments all the questions i see your questions instagram dms jesse at jessielaneconsulting.com you can also schedule a session with me uh, for phone consultations and shoot me an email for maybe some weekly or monthly consulting talk to you soon